when we when Mike talked to, to us about a guy and, and he had brought the other copies of other the guys' birds and that kind of thing to show us um, to explain what he had in mind, we got excited right away because he said one that one was never done in Trinidad on butterflies. So we said, okay, well since we're the only ones who have a butterfly collection in Trinidad, oh, so we thought <laughs> <laughs> we would like to, to assist, however, because we thought it would be a great idea to, to, to join with him and try and see how we could uh, produce this to make sure it comes out. And since our 40th anniversary was last year, we thought that we would do some calendars. And in doing the calendars, we said we will sell them and try and provide some money towards the guide. And we were able to do that. I can't give you the quantum right now, but I'm really can <laughs> But it was an okay sum. And um, we were able to get it off the ground. Now I'm so happy to see it finish and be fabulous. And um, today is just going to be the day to mark that occasion. That we have it completed and it can now be everybody get a chance to see it. And you're here too long. <laughs> Okay, well thanks all for coming. I really just sort of wanted to give a bit of background for the record of uh, the, the project itself um, and how it all came about. And as uh, Giselle said, also the 40th anniversary of the Barkamp Collection coming to Angostura was the genesis. Um, and it was just a, a way of trying to encourage people in Trinidad and Tobago and getting back into butterflies. It's always been a popular thing in the past. Um, but so often when we have visitors to the museum or visitors uh, chatting with the, at various events we run, they're always talking about how they don't see as many butterflies as they used to, um, you know, what's the common name for such and such, and, and so it's just sort of having a, a handy guide, a pocket-sized guide, would be a great way of trying to reinvigorate the interest in butterflies. Um, so what we did, what, what I did was get together with uh, the Acerite Nature Centre with uh, Graham White and uh, Ray Mendez and a few other people up there who had the whole bank of photographs. And also Matthew Cock, who's um, long been established as one of the, the butterfly experts for Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and Chris Dubeo from the Field Naturalist Club. And we also had uh, Pauline Gira from the uh, well, Zoology Museum now. And, and all these people had a wonderful range of photographs that we started to pick through. Uh, and then was the process of trying to choose the hundred species that would best represent um, things you're likely to come across, uh, the most beautiful and spectacular ones, uh, and also ones that probably are sort of interest, rare ones as well. And so over the few months, um, there's much emailing going to and fro and choosing, selecting the butterflies, getting the information. And then finally we got all together and Pauline spent many long nights arranging it all on the, uh, in the, the, the template for the design for the design team. And then this was all sent off to the US to Rainforest Publications, who uh, printed all out for us and did the final tweaks. And then we got it all delivered just the last couple of weeks ago, and, and here we are today. So the idea of the guys was to help groups, help NGOs to raise funds, basically. Anything that might be connected with conservation of the environment, conservation of habitats where butterflies are likely to be found, or of spreading the knowledge, spreading awareness and information about butterflies. And so the, the guides very generously sponsored the printing by Angus Dura are to be distributed out to the various groups involved and also to some other NGOs uh, and then they can sell them on and make money for them, make money for the groups. So we've got the Race Right Nature Centre, the Field Naturalist Club, uh, Environment Tobago, uh, the Point Pierre Valpal Trust, uh, Zoological Society of Trinidad and Tobago, uh, and probably a few more small groups as well. And the guides can be spread out around them, and also for sale through Angus Dura Shop and through the UV Zoology Museum. Uh, and hopefully, this, the first print run of a thousand guides will be gone very quickly, and, and then we'll have the, the fun part of working out how to pay for the next batch. <laughs> we'll let that get sorted out in a, a few months' time. But, uh, yeah, but, uh, We've got a few here to hand out, and uh, hopefully they'll become very popular and well liked amongst the public, and get people talking and back into butterfly conservation. So thank you all for coming. Thank you very much.